Okay, anybody knows me, they know that when I say a product is a good product, you can take it to the bank, it's a good product. And I used this Huey Man spreader this spring, and I'll tell you guys, always read the instructions because I struggled with it. I had problems with it getting jammed and doing different things. And that's a really simple fix, and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later, but if I'd have read the instructions, I'd have been fine. But that being said, I am just getting ready to finish my last food plot. I have put in, in the past week and a half, over 30 acres hand seeded food plots. Every single one has been done with this Huey Man spreader right here. This is the manual Huey Man, and it has performed flawlessly. And I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I did some bigger plots this year, some three acre plots, and when you're doing plots where you need a lot of seed, man, the harness system, it's just so much more comfortable. And there's a ton of features on this and we're gonna go through them, but um, just can't say enough about this. If you guys are looking for a phenomenal seeder, which I have been for years, I've just always kind of thought there was just one thing and that's what I used. And I heard about the Huey Man from my friends at Whitetail Institute and I used it and this uh, fall it has been awesome. Saved my back, saved my neck. Um, can't say enough about it. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features. So you see me wearing this harness here. Um, this takes all the pressure off. You know, a lot of you guys have the shoulder one that's rubbing on your neck, any weight you put in it. Um, it's really simple. We already put seed in it. It has a big hopper, can put a lot of seed. I think up to 20, 25 pounds of seed uh, will fit in the hopper. And there's just a simple latch right here. This fits down in. And you snap it here. Snap it over here. There you go. Um, and so how to run this thing now, you have uh, a flap over here that is going to direct where it goes. Um, you also have this adjustment. So if you want it to throw to your right, you'd move this over and move this out. Um, if you want it to kind of go in the middle, that's how I have it set now. That's how I like to spread. Um, really simple. Here is your control to open the hopper and how fast it comes out. You turn it all the way forward, it's gonna be faster and, and move it back. Um, you know, you got your simple crank here. They have uh, an electronic one too, that there is no crank and it's awesome as well, but this is the one I put to test um, this fall. So let me go now and talk a little bit about, I wanna talk about the what I dealt with uh, this spring when I used this. And I was using some really tiny seed, fusion blend, which is small clover and chicory seed. And I would open the hopper before I started spinning, all right? And it just kept jamming, it kept jamming. I didn't know what was going on. Well, it's a really, really simple fix. So I, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna open the hopper here a little bit, let some seed in, all right? And this will get jammed, okay? I'm jammed now. Okay, I close the hopper. All you have to do, just reach down here on this plastic piece and just get it till it spins freely. Start spinning your hop, split, spinning the spreader, open it up, and you're good to go. And once I learned that and did the instructions, man, this thing was awesome to use. So I've seen a lot of guys when they've seen me using this, mine keeps jamming, mine keeps jamming. I'd be willing to bet that's the issue. So it's a real simple fix. Always start spinning before you open the hopper. And if you do get a jam, simply close the hopper, reach down and just take this back and forth till it releases and that's it. So anyway, I'm gonna get to it. You see I'm hands free, this thing's completely full, takes all that pressure off my nat, neck and back. Um, but I'm gonna get to it and seed this plot, last one, thank God. <laughs>